Hi, I am Alyssa. And I'm her mother, Heather. We live in Pittsgrove, New Jersey. I have dioxide responsive negative genetic hyperinsulinism. Alyssa was diagnosed at 10 months old. She had a seizure. Uh, by the time we got her to our local hospital, her blood sugar was 13. She was admitted there and spent about 10 days there while they tried to figure out why she couldn't keep her blood sugar up. And then she was transferred over to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia where she stayed for another seven days. And there she was diagnosed with congenital hyperinsulinism. Her fasting time at diagnosis was about five to six hours before she dropped low. Um, and then she was put on diazoxide. The diazoxide worked, but the dose would need to be increased when I grew. I've had to go to the hospital a few times when I got sick because of low blood sugar. When I was 11 years old, I was weaned off the diazoxide. Since Alyssa was weaned off the diazoxide, she's been able to stabilize her blood sugars through her diet. In June 2019, Alyssa had uh, a fasting study at CHOP where she fasted for 48 hours total. She went 21 hours before her glucose dropped into the 70s. And then at 45 hours, she dropped into the 60s. Um, she fasted a total of 48 hours, ending with her glucose at 65 and her ketones at 1. Her hyperinsulinism has been resolving, or cured as they call it. I still check her sugars occasionally. She doesn't ever go much above 100, no matter what she eats, and the lowest blood sugar she's had um, was in the 60s. She maintains her blood sugar, and she's been doing great overall. I would just like to say to the families that have my type of hyperinsulinism that there is hope. It gets easier and you can live a full, normal life. Thank you.